What's up guys, Joseph Mills with Autometer here today. Super excited to show you the brand new Autometer air drive gauges. Now what makes these gauges unique is unlike traditional instruments, the signals arrive to the gauges completely wirelessly via a secure Wi-Fi network. So we've got a twin turbo Ford SHO here, a car I like quite a bit, and we're going to install gauges. So any 1996 and newer OBD2 compliant vehicle is a candidate here. We're going to plug a wireless module into the port. We're going to set up our colors, our warning points points via a Android or iOS application. Uh, so let's check it out and see how they work. All right, so we've got our wireless module plugged into the OBD2 port. We've given the gauges power and ground here. Now let's configure them. Uh, we're using an Android tablet here. It works exactly the same uh, on iOS. So the first thing we do is we go into our tablet settings. We turn our Wi-Fi on, and we're going to connect to the network. We'll have to put in a password. We've already done that, so we are now connected to Autometer Wi-Fi D420. So we back out here and we go into the free AirDrive system app. It's worth mentioning, you should definitely download the free AirDrive app first because it shows you a preview of all the PIDs that are compatible with your vehicle. So we're going to configure our vehicle. We were working on a Corvette earlier. Uh, today we have a 2011 Ford Taurus SHO. Cool. Now let's configure our gauges. We'll start with our water temp gauge here, and we go in and we select the PID or the parameter ID. So we'll select that data, we'll click that right there. Now we can change our lighting color. We've got this huge color wheel, so you can watch the gauge up there and see how that changes in real time. And now what we're going to try and do, you can see on the uh, original Taurus gauges, is we want to kind of match the color of those ticks on there. And I think that's our guy right there. We can also set uh, warnings for high and low. We can do a peak recall to see the, the values that the gauge reached. We're going to do a simple configuration here. So we go into our tack, we select the PID. Very cool, same thing. We're going to go ahead and select that color. We click save. And we've got our boost gauge because, well, that's the most fun. We select our boost gauge. We'll select our backlighting color to match the other ones. Save that. Now, once we've got the gauges configured the way we want, we simply exit out of the app. And you can watch the gauges. They'll all flash. And all of a sudden, we have functioning gauges. So really is as simple as that. Let's uh, take her for a drive and see how they function. So the Ford SHO is a very cool car. One, because it's all-wheel drive, but two, because it's twin turbo. So it's nice to have a boost gauge, which Ford did not provide us. So the typical uh, warnings apply, professional driver, closed course. 